Hey guys, good luck and welcome to another video. So in this video, I will teach you how to square any number, no matter how many digits it has. So remember how I used to square, do you remember how in my old video, I, in one of my old videos from like 11 months ago or whatever it was, I taught you how to square uh, any three digit number. Well, I'm experimenting with that technique and I figured that, and I found out that it could be used or any number. I'm sorry I don't have my paper and pens out yet, so I'm just using my silly putty on my whiteboard. So, the, so it might not look as clean as it would if it was pen and paper, but to square any number, first step is going to be to do is, so let's say you have, a, your number comprises of the first digit, X, and the, say so comprise of the first digit X and all the remaining digits Y. So X is, so let's say, in the number 4,764. 4, X will be four, Y will be 764. So this is gonna be in our example. So let's just put this down here for seven, Six, four, squared equals, so the question is, what does it equal? So we're going to break this number down into, ah, shucks, bit of my whiteboard just fell off, but whatever. Maybe I'll just take the whole thing apart. Yeah, that's all I do. I'll just take the whole thing apart. If it will let me, that is. Nah, it's not. But yeah. If you see, 4,764 squared is what? We're breaking it down into x and y. x being 4, y being 764. Actually, not, this is not gonna work. I just realized this is not gonna work, so I'm just gonna have to say it. Like, I'm just gonna speak this whole video. And just quickly reattach this. I just realized this is not gonna work. But yeah, so, so if we break it down to x and y, x being the first digit, y being all the remaining digits. The, there's only one other variable that I all need to know, and that is n. n is the number of digits in the, in the whole figure. Both x and y are included to find the, the value of n. So for our example, 4,764, n will be 4 because it's a four-digit number. So... Actually, nah, that's not how it works, my bad. And it's actually, the, it's actually the number of digits in Y, my bad. And it's the number of digits in number Y, which is the last, which is all the digits with the exception of the first digit. So that will be, in this case, a 4,764, since it's a four digit number, four minus one, like the Y is 764, all the remaining digits. So N is three, actually. So, if n is 3, so that's the last variable we need to know. So, in this equation, x is going to be 4, y is going to be 764, n is 3. So, I'm not, so I'm just going to keep this on the side for now to help me get through it. But yeah, your first step is going to be to do x squared times 10 to the power of n. Squared. So, so for example, in our num example with 4,764, we get a 4 squared times 10 cubed squared. And whoever knows exponents will already know this, but for you, those of you who don't, 10 cubed squared is the same thing as 10 to the power of 6, or which equates to 1 million. So you're going to have 4 squared times a million squared is 16 million. So, you're, so from that first step, you're going to get 16 million. So again, so just phrasing that again in the regular form, in the format that you'll be using of, of using all the variables, it's x squared times 10 to the n squared. 
times to the power of m squared. That's your first step. Then we just finish marking that down. 16 million is what we got here. That for the second step, you are going to do this one I always get messed up on, so forgive me if I have to re-say it. If I have to so forgive me if I get it wrong the first time I try to say it, but I'm gonna do my best. It is going to be X it's going to be two x y it's gonna be two x y times ten to the power of n so in this case four times seven hundred sixty four it's gonna be two times four times seven hundred sixty four times ten cubed because if you remember n is the number of digits in y so it's going to be I'm gonna just compute this in my head it's easier for me that way it's going to be basically going to be 2 times 4 is 8, so 764 times 8 is going to be, let me just count this on my fingers, so 2 to, so 764 times 2, to, so remember, 8 is 2 cubed, so I'm going to count on my fingers until I reach 3, for the third time I double it, not doubling it at all, 764, doubling it once, we got 1528, doubling 764 twice, we get 20, Nah, no, not 20, 30, 56, and that, so that's two doubling so far, we gotta double it one more time, 30, 56, ta plus 30, 56 will be equivalent to, or 30, 56 times 2 will be equivalent to 61, 12. And now times 10 cubed is pretty simple, just throw three zeros at the end of that, so 61, 12 followed by three zeros will be 6,112,000. So let's put that in there. Six million one hundred twelve thousand. Our current total is twenty two million one hundred twelve thousand. We're not even close to done yet. So now we're going to square y. So we base so so we're basically gonna have to repeat steps one and two, which were to do x squared times ten to the power of n squares, and step and step two was. 2xy times 10 to the power of n. We're gonna have to repeat those steps until we boil down to a two digit number or until, and then we just add everything all together. I have actually been adding everything all together on the side here as we've been going along. If you're doing it on pen and paper, if you're doing with it with pen and paper or even with an, or even with an abacus or, I don't know, maybe numbered cards. Like, if you're doing this on Shabbos, you know, to pet kill time, you might be doing it with an abacus or with numbered cards like I do. Then you would be doing, then you would, like, if you're doing it with numbered cards, you're probably adding everything as you go along, like I'm doing right here. But if you're doing it on pen and paper, you're probably writing down all your totals and then adding... you would probably be writing down the answers to all the steps and then adding everything up at the end. That's actually how I square 17 digit numbers. Yeah, I can square 17 digit numbers using this technique. And I get it right. Baruch Hashem, right? So now moving on to... Squaring 764, that's what y was, if you remember. So now uh, x becomes 7, y becomes 64. So we're going to start off with, with doing x squared times 10 to the power of n squared. 7 squared is 49. 10 squared squared is 10,000. So we're going to have 490,000. Let's add that. 22,602,000 here. So that's the first step. And then you're going to do six, in this case, 2xy times 10 to the power of n is 2 times 7 times 64 times 100. Or 14 times 64 times 100. So since we're dealing with 64 here, it's easier just to multiply 14 by 2 to the power of 6 because 2 to the power of 6 is 64 rather than doing 64 times 2 times 7, which is...
I hate doing that. No, seriously, I hate multiplying by seven, but because it is kind of tricky to do in your head, but for those, uh, for those of you who have endless paper, I guess you could write it down, yeah. Yeah, for those of you who have endless paper, I guess you guys could write it down. But let's see about doing that. So I'm going to do it in my head. So 14 times 64, that's the first step. 14, 28, 56, 112, 224, 448, 896. If you're wondering how I did that so fast, it's because I'm just used to doubling multiples of 7. It's just I'm used to doubling 7 a lot because I come across 7 in a lot of calculations. And sometimes I have to double it like 10 or 12 times. So I'm used to doing that. That's how I was able to do it so fast. 896 times 100 would be 89,600. Let's put that in there now. 8, 9. So now our total is 22,691,600. And now the last step is to square 64. I know that already because 2 to the 6 powers squared is the same thing as 2 to the 12th. And I happen to know, like, I happen to know the first, let me, and I happen to know the first 20 uh, powers of 2 in my head. But for the sake of you guys watching this video, I'll boil it down even further. So now we're treating it. So now we're down to a two-digit number. So we have x as 6, y as 4. So repeating steps 1 and 2 from earlier, x squared times 10 to the power of n squared is literally just going to be 36 times 100, or 3600, so let's add that. 3600. And then you have... And then you're going to do ten, and then you're going to do two x y times ten to the power of n. So two times six is twelve. Times four is forty eight. Times ten is four hundred eighty. So we're gonna add four hundred eighty. And now finally, we are, we are finally just about done. The last step is go the second to last step, I should say. For for it's the last step for me. Because I've been adding everything as I go along, but for you guys, it's the second. To but for whoever's doing this on pen and paper, it's second to last step. And also for those of you who plan on doing this on Shabbos, it's gonna be the last step because you're probably gonna be adding everything as you go along when you do this on Shabbos. Like if you're using numbered cards like I do, you will be adding everything as you go along, so it's just easier that way. So, if you, so if you're doing this on Shabbos, this would be your last step. If you're doing this with pen and paper, it's your second to last step. Square that single remaining digit. Square y, y squared, y squared in this case will be four squared. That is 16, easy peasy. And for those of you who have not, and for those of you who do this on pen and paper, you still have one more step to go, just add everything together. For those of you who are not using pen and paper, who are using, like who, like I'm just using my silly putty, and on shop and for those of you who do this on Shabbos, you you'll be using numbered card and using numbered cards. You would already have added everything together, but the result is going to be, and I've got twenty two million six hundred ninety five thousand six hundred ninety six. Remember, it was four thousand seven hundred sixty four squared. Got that pulled up, squared, and indeed it is correct. Twenty two million. 695,696. Now, isn't that amazing? You could literally do that with a number of 50 digits if you want to. I've tried it before, but I've always gotten messed up because it's so many zeros to deal with. But yeah, I've, I've tried this with 50 digit numbers before, but I've gotten messed up only because it's so many zeros to deal with. But I have Baruch Hashan successfully squared 17 digit numbers like this. So, just repeat, just doing the stuff that I delineated in this video. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is another long video. I've been doing very long videos lately. That, I, that please, 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 don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to do a live stream one day. I only have 44 subscribers. Please like and subscribe so that I, and share this video too so I can get to 50.
If you guys last time when I reach 50 subscribers, I will do a live stream all about all the math tricks I've covered in this video, in my, um, my YouTube channel, basically. So, Amir Sasham, when we get, so Amir Sasham, when we, I get to 50 subscribers, I will do a video that covers every single math topic I've covered in any of my videos ever. I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you made it this far in this video, since it's like my fifth long video or something, you're awesome for sticking around with me for so long. Peace out.